Hi everyone, I'm Chantal from 4Yoga. Today I'd like to share with you what I call alligator twists. Some people know it as open book, but I'll give you a couple of modifications that will hopefully give you a little bit more release in the upper back and the shoulders, the thoracic spine as well. For my fellow golfers, it's a staple movement in order to create a little bit more shoulder turn and really connect to the uh, importance of creating rotation from the center as opposed to the extremities, the arms and the head. So you'll need something to support your head. I have a bolster. It could be a couple of yoga blocks, one beside the other, or a pillow. Uh, but do make sure that you have something to support your head. So for the purpose of this video, I'll show on the left side where I'm stacking my shoulders, my knees, and my hips. And the tendency quite often is to already be in a twist. So the bottom shoulder sometimes is too forward. So you can see here that already my chest is open and I'm already in a twist. We want to stack. So that left shoulder is right under the right one. And then arms relaxed in front of you this way. You could also put, if you want, a pillow or something behind your hips. So as you move, the hips are not opening with the movement because we do want to try as much as possible for the purpose of this exercise to keep the hips stable, okay? So on your inhalation, you're going to lift your right arm a bit and then slowly turn the trunk, trying to bring the right shoulder blade on the floor behind you. And then slowly come on back on your exhalation. Inhaling. Slowly opening up and really make sure that your arm and head are not leading. They're simply following. Inhaling. And exhaling. So another thing that you could do, which is what I like to do, is to place my left hand right now on top of my right knee. It really helps me to stabilize the hips and the legs because I do have tension in my thoracic spine and I'm really mobile in my hips so it's my hips that want to turn. So now I'm going to try as much as possible to work just just the upper body. So on an inhalation use the trunk, right shoulder blade leading towards going towards the floor behind you and exhale come on back. We'll do two more like that. Inhale, resist the temptation of really pulling with the arm. Respect where your body is bringing you. One more time, inhale. And exhale, good. We'll open one more time here, inhale, and then we'll stay in the twist. So here I want you to stabilize here don't try to force anything. We'll keep the right arm extended and I'll bring my left hand behind my head to support my head. Then as I inhale, I'm going to lift my head up towards the ceiling. So you're going to feel the side of your body here shortening a bit and that's what we want. Exhale, you're going to release into your twist. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale, relax completely in the twist. One more time, inhale and exhale. And then we'll do three more. This time we'll add an internal rotation at the right shoulder. So inhale, lift your head, internally rotate the shoulder. Exhale, fall back into your twist. And notice if suddenly you're going a little further out. Inhale, lift the head. Internally rotating the shoulder, exhale, relax back. One last time, inhale and exhale. And then let's relax wherever you are. So I don't know about you, but just by adding those two small movement, I've found a lot more range of motion in my shoulder turn. And slowly, come on back. So this is 
my way of doing the alligator twists or open book. I hope that it's going to help you find a little bit more range of motion and release in the upper back. I would suggest do 10 of the regular alligator twists, then add the lift of the head for three rounds, and then lift of the head and internal rotation of the shoulder for three rounds as well. And as always, breathe deeply, move slowly, and enjoy. Thanks so much for joining me. If you want to feel better, live better, and play better, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.